Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of How to Play. This time it's Organ Trail and if you can tell by the tone of my voice, I'm actually quite tired because it's apparently currently, what time is it? It's half seven in the morning and I literally haven't had any sleep at all since I woke up the previous day. Anyway, let's just uh, get on by... Uh... And I'm not going to go with continue because I was playing on a pretty hard difficulty and uh, I don't want to go in halfway through the game with half my resources just gone. Let's look at the options. Uh, we've got volume settings, we have the Twitter thing, we've got the control schemes which we can toggle through. Mouse only, mouse and keyboard, that's about it when, it when it comes to this. Uh, let's go to camp. Okay, so, yeah, you know, I'm very short. Right, I've already played the game on normal and completed it. I was doing difficulty. Difficulty? Difficult. And, uh, pretty damn hard. So, I, I thought to myself, why not do it easy and see the massive difference between these three? And plus, because I'm so tired, I might not focus that much. So let's go with easy. Uh, I already know about the intro, so I'll just skip it. Alright, who is the party member? Who is the party leader? Uh, let's go with... The boss. Alright, the boss is the leader. Okay, now let's get my, let's get my friends. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, really? You get... Okay. So apparently on... On normal, you get like 12, uh, 12 resources, these resource points right there. Uh, and easy, you get 18, which I guess is the most. So let's go with, uh, yeah. No, I don't need one of those. Let's get some money. Let's get lots of food. Let's get some ammo. Oh, that's too much ammo. Yeah. Let's get batteries, tires, and a muffler. Yeah. Alright, so this game is mainly a uh, point and click, only it doesn't call itself a point and click type game because of the uh, functions that really say that... Really, the WAs and Ds are just used when you're doing one type of mission. And you get to choose if you want to do it. So as you see, it's like health, that boss, station wagon, which is what I'm driving right now, and then my friends, and the stats right here, like how many fuel cans I got left, how many... How many ounces of food I've got left? Zombie activity. That's extremely useful if you wanna like just stop the car and then get out and get do some scavenging. All right, you find a. This is how the game actually displays uh, its actions. You find a broken down car with an unusable upgrade for your car in it. You scavenge it, and then it's like how many miles you've traveled, how many miles to travel. And as soon as we get to our destination, I will show you uh, other features. I really shouldn't make a video this early or late, depending on how long you've been awake for. Does it count as be like being up quite late or being up early? Never knew. Uh, there is a tombstone in the distance. Will you get out and look? You know, on my first playthrough, I was being smart and said no to every tombstone. So let's go with one tombstone. He lived. He died. So that continued. So that counts for something. You discovered. Oh! That's pretty cool! <laughs> I never never knew that you could get med kits from a grave. That's pretty cool. Makes me a grave digger, but, you know. Got to stop. The banner steals 26 ammo from your car. I was moving! Ah. Welcome to Pittsburgh, where even bandits steal money from your car. Well, of course they do. You know what I mean. I hope. I don't know. All right, upgrades. So I've got a, a new, <laughs> an upgrade, a solar panel. Move slowly while out of fuel. Oh. The hell? They said it was unusable. That is extremely useful. All right. So we got buy and sell, and then we got jobs and auto shop. Auto shop just is like uh, if you don't want to use any, if you don't want to use any of your scraps. You can just go to the auto shop and then go, hey, I got some money, here's, here's some stuff. Upgrade. 
Uh, they they also sell upgrades, but they only sell one. So this one is a tool chest. Scrap prepares the car more efficiently. Ah, uh, that's so good. The reason for that is because if I want to repair, uh, I have ten scraps. One scrap gives me twenty percent. Now you obviously think, huh? So if you get up by one more, it'll probably go up by up to thirty percent. No, that's thirty-two. But as soon as you get it to like ten scraps, it's ninety-two percent. That's there's a high chance that it'll just repair itself that way. But you're using too much. You're using too many scraps. Right, med kits. Uh, seeing as actually, let's just demonstrate. Let's rest the two out. So obviously, food's gonna go down as well. Their health goes up, but mine doesn't. The reason for why mine doesn't, apart from it just being full from the start, was because for some reason the player doesn't actually gain health from eating. You more sustain it as opposed to gaining. I think it's more stress. So med kits. I only use. I have seven med kits, and I only use my med kits on me unless one of my friends just happens to be like shot. I can kill a friend if I. If I just feel like it. I remember killing uh, on my first playthrough with my friend James because he literally sat on a tire and I I kind of needed that tire. So I stopped the car and shot him. And then I kept driving. Such a, I'm such a nice person. Alright, so over here you can obviously see like time, which is like 8pm, zombie activity, which is pretty high than my supplies. I got like scavenge, trade, Rationing and combat training. Ra rationing allows me to just determine how much food should be eaten per hour from people. I keep it on normal just to be safe. Uh, trading. Uh, you can cut it. Oh, let's wait an hour. Anyone to trade? Okay, never mind. All right, so let's look at these jobs. Bandits and more bandits. Now these these pay me in different ways. This one, which is like a normal difficulty, gives me twenty dollars. Seeing as for how much I've how I've started off with so much food already, I don't I really don't need to do this one, which is the dangerous one. So let's do with bandits, which also demonstrates the combat system of the game. So let's see, three bandits. No one shoot me. If I drag the mouse to me. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I forgot. I, he did shoot. Look, it's seven. It's half seven in the morning. I'm trying my best. I am trying my best. Let's see what they can, they can sell me. That's a reasonable price. That's a reasonable price. Uh, let's buy some scraps. Let's buy like flat scraps. Okay, we're done. And now we're leaving. You must cross a horde of zombie. Uh, it's always an obstacle here on your road. The horde in front of you is currently large in size and apparently to be alert. Okay, so this gives me options. So obviously you can see like large is the size of the horde and it's this position is alert. So I can either wait, uh, break out guns and clear a path, attempt to sneak through, which is very dangerous. Uh, hire mercenaries to escort you and get information about your choices. I, with, when it came to this sort of uh, size, as well as oh god, the agitated. This is even worse. But agitated seems to be a lot worse than alert. I did try mercenaries the first time, but I still lost something. I forgot what I lost. Oh my god, this is getting worse. Welcome to Oregon Trail. This is what it's like. Still fun game. Oh my god. You know I don't even care anymore. This is just trying to sneak through. Are you serious? That was a ravenous horde. That would have. Ah, oh, forget it. Forget it. So many miles to the mall. Uh, 
you're out of water and you can't find any any nearby, everyone's dehydrated so they've lost even more health then. Uh, Josh is just digging around with How does he ruin ammo? And why is it Josh? I tried, I, I was doing, I was doing the exact same order of friends I had, uh, with difficult difficulty, and Josh just ruined $26, and I was like, dude, Burn a car, but there was nothing to be scattered. Question the edibility of some of your food, you toss it to be safe. Welcome to the mall. Left to die. Ah. Ah. Get it? Get it? Because, yeah. Alright, so the mall doesn't have that much. It's got ammo, which Josh just happened to throw out. It's got a hobo. Because Josh just did that, I don't think I'm going to shoot him in the face. Because I can't do it. Alright then. So, yeah, that's... Yeah. I also find it better to just to kill off your friends. Which is a horrible thing to say. But it sort of is. It, it, it just, it sort of is, alright? Less food is used up. Less food of you actually caring about what happens later on in the game. Oh, seriously? See? I had like seven scraps and it gave me... How much does the seven scraps give me? 77%. You would think it would work. Anyway, you get the roadmap as well. So as you can see already there, we've already traveled to the mall. Uh, it's extremely dangerous just to get through all of this. Because I remember when I was around here, I just ran out of fuel, and I waited like three in-game days just to get three cans of fuel, and that was that was something. All right, so don't make these low. Let's go scavenging. I'm better at shooting zombies than I am at shooting people who hide behind walls. And plus, you get to meet interesting zombies like this one, and sometimes you get to meet a zombie bear. Which is like a boss fight, which I can't show you because it's further in the game. And this is probably going to be like the first 10 to 15 minutes of the game. Oh yeah, but that one's going to... Sure, God. But... Never play a game that requires so much focus. Uh, how much... Okay. Yeah, I found, I found money. I love when I find money. Alright, good. It also gives you combat training in case you're bad at just killing stuff. So let's leave again. Alright, until... I didn't read that, so... Yeah. Alright. Alright, there's fog. So I'm moving it slower, but I'm still using the same amount of fuel. That's not- I hate it when that happens. I just lost half a can. Matt has a broken arm. How do you get a broken arm? The sky clears up. You hit a, you hit a deer that jumps out in front of the car. Alright, the station wagon's taking a lot of damage. So there remains another party before you. Would you like to see- Would you like to stop and look? Yes. Yes, I would. <laughs> well, there's... <laughs> oh my god, I'm, I'm, I, I just... I can't even focus anymore. Oh, I do like that. I do like that. Stupid zombie trying to kill me. Eh, in, in the no position. Alive. I can't pronounce it. Alright, let's repair the car. Eh, yeah, let's use all the scrap we got. Repair.
I hate the fact that they failed uh, repairing sound and the successful repairing sound sounds so similar. Alright, so I'm gonna use one of my medicates, I'm gonna use my mat, and that healed him up to half. So I guess it gives you, if you have 100 health, it'll be probably like 25% of it. So a quarter, just got back to him. That's pretty useful. I love medkits. Even if they're dead. Well, mainly in Left 4 Dead. Uh, let's, yeah, let's go scavenge some more. Alright, so... So apparently the activity changed to... Changed to low for some reason when it said medium. So I guess it goes down by a bit, depending. I think the scavenging takes a bit of time just to get to where you are. Ooh, that's money, I like money. See the tail and everything, you know? Um. Yeah. That's a good deal. That's a good deal, I like that. That's so much money, let's see if I can buy anything from the town. Uh, actually, what am I low on? Scrap. Need a bunch of scrap. Did I buy that or did I not? No, I didn't. I didn't buy anything. Alright, so there's the car. Let's repair it a bit more. Yeah. Although when I, when I first started playing Oregon Trail, I really did enjoy it. Uh, you son of a bitch. I was saying nice things about you. And now you repay me like this. Uh, uh, the jobs change anyway. So apparently the jobs don't change, uh, depending on time. So recovery, suicide, bandits, dangerous. But there are... I don't understand, like, some of the rewards from, um, the, some of the things that are, like, really dangerous aren't really worth it. Like, you can easily do this recovery, and I know what recovery is. You go out, you try, you, you go all the way, uh, east, just to get, like, a box. As soon as you, as soon as you get that, the mission's over, but there are just so many zombies if it's on suicide. I'll show you. And this is probably all that, this is probably where I'll, I'll end the video. And by then, the the, it's, the game's gonna be like trying to be smart, are you? It's already like got like got like eight to nine zombies after me right now. So let's just kill one. Kill the second one. This one takes two shots for some reason because of the fat one. Yeah. Doing quite well on this one. Get away from me. Yes, yeah, so there's there's a crate, and I I love using those walls because it just makes it easier for me. I earn six dollars. Then bandits. Bandits are always the bastard who just use these. I literally shot him as soon as he got up and then he was gonna take him down. This game lies to me. Alright, so as soon as he shoots. Uh, uh, I got again! Oh. I got again. Get the chance to kill him. Oh god, I really can't focus. I should never do a video this time. Almost here, but I'm 
good, one was good. No one else. There have been times when I've got rid, got rid of the entire team and I the last guy to win. Yes! Getting food is probably like the best thing to do because when you scavenge, you get the most amount of food. And I always seem to find out that eventually, when you go to some settlements, no, not settlements. Um, but like when if you break down in the middle of the road, uh, at some point, people will just be wanting food more than anything else, like food and med kits. So they'll trade anything for them. I mean, if we go to, let's see if we can trade anymore. No, we can't. I really just want to trade something. Okay, you know what? Let's just leave. All right. Let's just leave. I'm just gonna leave the car. Like, the only water you can find is sludge from a runoff drain. Okay. Let's stop right here. Right, so obviously there's no town. Let's see what I can trade. Alright, there are people that want to trade. A stranger is willing to trade two of their sc uh, scrap for 16 of your dollars. No. It's a bad trade. It's a bad trade. I always seem to have, I seem to like think, maybe I should have my scraps over, like if I have 13, I want it to be over 20. So I always want it to be the next second digit. Not second digit, uh, what's that called? I don't know. Anyway, this has been Organ Trail, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.